A successful plaintiff in a tort case is entitled to compensation for whatever injury the defendant caused. But how should that compensation be measured? The Tenth Circuit discussed the goal of damage awards in United States v. Hatali. Agents from the Federal Bureau of Land Management confiscated and destroyed 115 horses and 38 burrows belonging to Bill Hatali, his family, and his community ostensibly because the animals, which grazed on public lands, were abandoned. Hatali and his community were members of the Navajo tribe, living on the lands where their animals grazed. Hatali and the others, whom we'll refer to collectively as Hatali, sued the federal government under the Federal Tort Claims Act to recover damages for the loss of their horses and burros. The district court found for Hatali and awarded damages. Ultimately, the case reached the United States Supreme Court, which affirmed the government's liability and remanded the case for further findings on damages. At the subsequent damages hearing, the district court heard additional evidence. Hatali didn't offer evidence to prove the replacement cost of his animals, arguing that the animals were unique because of their nature and training and therefore irreplaceable. There was testimony that because of the loss of the horses and burrows, Hatali couldn't maintain and look after as much livestock as he had before and that the size of his herds of sheep, goats, and cattle was therefore reduced. The trial court awarded damages in the amount of $395 for each horse or burrow taken and $3,500 to each plaintiff for mental pain and suffering. The trial court also assigned a dollar value to every sheep, goat, and cow and used that value to calculate the total value of the diminution in the size of each plaintiff's herds from the date the horses and burrows were taken until the date of the hearing. The trial court then awarded half of that total value as damages caused by the loss of use of the horses and burrows. The United States appealed the damage award to the Tenth Circuit.